Brian and Kenzie in the morning and Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. It is 6.02, 64 degrees. It is beautiful out. It's going to be beautiful the next couple of days with all the stuff going on leading up to Green Day. And let's just get that right out there because Anita from Broadview has texted about 17 times already saying, oh, <laughs> so when are you going to do it? So when are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? So when are we going to do it, meaning play two Green Day songs in a row, we're going to do it earlier today at 7 a.m. So Ooh, how about that? Super early. So 7 a.m., less than an hour away, we'll play two Green Day songs right at the top of the hour, right when we usually do sports. Yeah. And we'll play those songs, and then you call up. You enjoy the first Green Day song. Sit back, kick back with See, your coffee. See, the way it works is you have to hear two. Yeah. Sit with your coffee mm. and a donut from Dunkin' or whatever. You know, early bird gets the Green Day tickets. That's what they say. <laughs> so you're telling me... <laughs> That's, that just hit me. That was very uh, funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they always say that. The early bird gets the Green Day tickets. Tails on the side. Yeah. You're telling me there's no game, there's no scramble, there's no quiz. I just have to listen to Green Day songs to get into the Green Day lounge? I got to admit, I'm a little rough this week, so I'm just going to play two songs. We're, not gonna, we're, not gonna, I'm we're not, exhausted. I, I'm not going to make some big song scramble. Maybe next week for some stuff going on that we'll talk about. There's so much happening right now with the radio station and taking care of you with elite A-level prizes. we got to really focus and deliver this information clearly to everybody. So right now, I just want you to focus on Green Day at 7 a.m., okay. everybody listening. To get you in the lounge, which no one gets, this intimate setting with Green Day in their family room. It's actually our family room, and they wanted to do it for you. They don't do this for anybody in the world, and I mean that. This is, this is really us pounding our chest and flexing here. It's a flex. Because it's true and it's all valid. It's not any kind of BS. You're not going to get that from anybody else, not let alone Chicago radio, but uh, anywhere in the country. And if I wanted to win these Green Day tickets, am I calling your cell number, which is 267? What number am I calling? Case's cell number is 312-591-8300. Send nudes. No, don't do that. Because Kenzie's going to see oh, them. Oh, come on. Why would you say that? <laughs> it's not. I, I do not want a bunch of boobs on here. No. And this is This is the station text line, and I answer it. That's going to do nothing for me. I see boobs all the time. That's right. Well, you have Everybody sees boobs now. I know. I mean, you go to the mirror. Amen. <laughs> Whatever, Amen. I'm in the mood for a good boob. <laughs> By the way, let's pause on Green Day for a second. How amazing would it be, Case, to be able to just go to the mirror and see boobs? I mean, Kenzie can do that anytime she wants. God. Really? <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I'm nine you years old today. You could go on Twitter and just see them. Yeah, but. It's as accessible. I'm I not... would argue easier because I don't even change. <laughs> you're going to take off something. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of work. I'll open your phone that you're already on. Let's see what's faster. Me, no, go- I'm not doing- are you me, me going on Twitter for Q Olympics. Are you on- That's the Q Olympics today. No. Me trying to find boobs on Twitter, or Kenzie looking at her boobs privately. We'll put a we'll put a curtain up. We'll this put- is what happens when you have a volunteer HR department. <laughs> All right, so Green Day at 7 a.m. Focus on that just in the next 55 minutes. There's more coming this morning. I mean, should I even get to what's coming up? I think we should mention it. We'll focus on Green Day, but we can mention the other ginormous giveaway today. 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock, Ticket Puts Thursday, Riot Fest three-day passes. How about that? I mean, are are you kidding me? So all day today, every hour, it's set up. But 7 a.m., two Green Day songs. You call up on the second one. When the second one starts, 312-591-8300. Not only do you get in the lounge with Green Day, but you also get tickets to Wrigley Field for Green Day, Smashing Pumpkins, and Rancid. Woo! It's a twofer. It is a twofer, and it's coming up. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q 101. Well, we start off with some texts uh, from some people. Paul checked in, and Paul, my man, just texted in. Oh, and s- my wanna, heart's broken. Want to read what he said? So, Paul texted... And I I didn't even realize what he was saying. I was just happy for him. He was like, good morning. I read, I'm going to the salt shed. It looks closed. Six to nine today, right? 
And I'm like, yep. Yeah. So it's actually six to eight. There's going to be tickets every 30 minutes. And he goes, cool. Is Brian running late or something? <laughs> and I go, oh, my gosh, honey, Paul, it, it's six to eight this evening. Tonight. And he goes, oh, I'm here for no reason. I thought it was the morning. And my heart is broken right now. Well, maybe he I'm lives. so sad. Maybe he lives next to the salt shed. Just the <laughs> effort, and he's like, why is this guy late, and why is it closed? Well, oh. if you don't know what we're talking about, tonight, tonight, 6 to 8 p.m. at the Salt Shed, I'll be over there. Now, I'm going to be at the Goose Island Salt Shed Pub, which is at 1221 West Blackhawk Street. Mm-hmm. So it's right there. You go to the Salt Shed, and you go on Blackhawk right down toward the water. It's right there. That's where I'm going to be tonight, um, 6 to 8, with Green Day Lounge Passes every half hour. So I'll get there at, at 6, then 6.30, 7. 7.30, 8, every half hour. This is the only other way to get into the lounge mm-hmm. besides at 7 a.m. this morning and on the air all day with us, with Lauren, with Brian Phillips. So this is going to be a party. Everybody needs to get over there. It's your, it's honestly your best chance to win. Right, because it's it's every 30 minutes you're giving away tickets, correct? Yeah, and think about a million people listening to the radio, and I'm not saying don't try at 7 because you have to try. Well, there has to be a winner, so someone's winning. But in the bar, holds, I don't know, two or 300 people. Better and you're odds. giving away four pairs. Better odds. Mm-hmm. So come out tonight. Also, it's an amazing brew pub. I love Goose Island, Chicago's beer, our people. So um, get out there tonight, 6 to 8 p.m. I will be there, and uh, it's going to be a blast. We're going to have, you know, there, you know, music and drinking and all that well, kind no of kidding. stuff. Like, worst case scenario is you just had a fun night. Yeah. That's worst case scenario. Yeah. So stop on out tonight to the Goose Island Salt Shed Pub, 1221 West Blackhawk Street. There's a map and everything at Q101.com. Just go to the events section. You'll see my smiling picture there. And make sure you join us for the event tonight, 6 to 8, at the Salt Shed. Your only on-site chance to get in the Green Day Lounge. Wind passes every half hour. Great odds. DraftKings should put odds on that. Uh, it's Brian <laughs> and Kenzie on Q101, a fact that makes your brain go. Coming up after Fallout Boy. It's Brian and Kenzie, Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Time for a fact that makes your brain just go. What was yesterday's fact? It was the most dangerous day to get on the road all year. August 7th is the most dangerous day on the road. As Mitchell put it, if you're driving, you could die. That was how he said it. I try not to be as ominous, but hey, it's a fact, and we got to be careful out there on the roads. Period. Today's fact, uh, it's not much better than that fact yesterday. Um, 15,000 injuries happen right around this time of the day. And it's something in your house. So 15,000 injuries uh, around the country and many thousands of them here in Chicago area happen around this time of the day. Mm. Okay, that might give you a little hint. Um, It's something in your house. I know it. I just know I know it. Oh, okay. Is it falling down the stairs? Because I fall down the stairs every time I'm running late. (laughs) If you wake up, (laughs) I, 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 I can't get my feet to move like that the right way. So I feel like you, you're like, oh, my God, I'm supposed to get up at 6. And then da, 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 you just fall the whole um, way. It well, sucks. Well, of course, I'm not going to tell you if you're right, but it could be that. Um, uh, we have some audio here of Kenzie running late and falling down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Is that what it sounds like? Oh, and then, like, and then the family guy. Ah. Uh, <laughs> for five more minutes. Ah. <laughs> yep, Kenzie. Oh, damn, but the alarm didn't go off. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I'm not Son telling of you. A bitch, they're already on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that one. Case, do you have a guess? I thought it was going to be a different injury that Kenzie suffers from a lot. I didn't know she fell down the stairs every morning. I but... fell down the stairs a lot. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> A little dish rolling in the corner there. You know what sucks is we have that wall. Like, you know when your staircase turns? So I hit the wall, too. Oh, we have a turn. Yeah. I didn't know you had curved staircase money. Yeah. It's not, it's not, that, some people have two separate really nice staircases. Ours just curves, save money. <laughs> saves money. <laughs> just I, keep it going. <laughs> I, I think it's people that stub their toes. I think there's an alarming amount of oh, toe God. injuries at this time of the day. That's usually how I fall. <laughs> <laughs> You, you hit your <laughs> on the banister and then it, it catapults you down the stairs sucks. like a trebuchet. Oh, <laughs> God. Mornings suck. Oh, that's terrible.
There's one. There's a different falling down sound effect. I want to try a different one. Let me hear it. <laughs> What's my phone next to me? It sounds like somebody dribbling a basketball. So first, Kenzie falls like this. And then her phone follows behind. Yeah. Pink. Yeah. It usually hits me in the face. It's always a little behind me. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. That one had music on it. That sound effect. Never oh. mind. All right. Coming up here in five minutes, we'll tell you 15,000 injuries in your house happen around this time of the day and around the country and, and many of them in Chicago. We'll tell you what it is. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Well, it's time for a fact that makes your brain go. Now, I mentioned there's 15,000 injuries a year with something in your house right around this time of the morning. And that means there's, you know, several hundred at least in Chicago if there's 15,000 around the country because we're the third biggest city in, the, in America. Now, Kenzie guessed it was falling down the stairs because, quote, she does it nearly every morning. Is that what you well, said? whenever I'm running late, <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, it could sound like that. <laughs> and then her phone quickly following behind her. Always hits me in the face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but occasionally, she can't keep it quiet to keep the family asleep, and it sounds like this. Yeah, go, go, yeah, go. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> oh, Our stairs are wood. They hurt. Oh, there's no carpet runner on them? Like, but it's small. Oh, I, so I always hit the side. What, are you, like an Olympic athlete on the balance beam going on the like carpet a, that's in the middle of the stair, yeah, the, the carpet runner? because I'm not in the Olympics. <laughs> I, is it like a landing strip? Why is the carpet so thin on your stairs? I don't know. I didn't design them. <laughs> a landing strip carpet runner on the stairs. It hurts. Well, as we all know, landing strips are out. Hardwood floors are in. Amen, brother. Uh-huh. Well, I guess I'll rip it up today. Is that <laughs> Do you know that term, hardwood floors, by the way, when you talk about... Yes, I okay. understand the... <laughs> so that you was, see, Kenzie. Oh, my God. So the female body, right? That was the right? joke. Like, I'll rip it up. I, I played into it. <laughs> Do you understand what we're talking about? Do I like how you're questioning if I understand that? I just don't know if, you're, if people talk the way around you. I just didn't know. Like, I'm like, I can't even call you. <laughs> now, do the listeners understand what we're saying when I say that? I think everyone gets it. <laughs> except the people who shouldn't, like children. So let's move on. Text them if you get that the hardwood no, floor. No, please don't. Okay. I don't want it. All right, so and Case, Case thought it was stubbing a toe. Yeah, which is, I thought was the biggest injury that Kenzie suffered every morning. Little I, did I know. I, I'll also do that. <laughs> it leads into the stair falling. It's hard to fall down the stairs without tubbing, stubbing your toe. I know, because you hit the banister, you see. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of obstacles. You have the very, you have the landing strip carpet runner <laughs> and then banisters <laughs> and, a cur and a wall in the middle of your staircase that up for a turn. Her house is like a super cross track. There's <laughs> just obstacles everywhere. It's like the Daytona 500. <laughs> you have that turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It feels like I broke into the McAllister's house is what it feels like. You're like Joe Pesci every morning. It hurts. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to what these injuries are because you may have had one this morning. And this one blew my mind. Maybe it doesn't blow everybody else's mind because I don't have this as a part of my house and okay. Case doesn't either because we live in apartments. There's 15,000 garage door related injuries every oh, year. Oh, my God. Can I tell you what happened to me this morning? Wait, let's let that sit for a second before you tell me. There's 15,000 garage door related injuries. I believe it. Every year in America. I believe it. I'm stunned by that because I think you could see the garage door coming down. I just made it go slow. But now you tell me your story. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't understand. I, to I honestly, I'm terrified. I hope my husband doesn't see it, but I destroyed part of her garage door this morning because <laughs> I opened the garage door and I turned my car on and I have a Jeep and I just looked out of the corner and it looked like it was all the way up but I have a very tall Jeep so I throw that thing in reverse <laughs> and you're like and I hit I scraped the entire car like, ceiling against my garage door and now there's like and now like I don't know what is the track that hits the floor it's like it's dangling. Oh, boy. And I had to wait while my garage door shut. I was like, please don't bounce back up. Please don't bounce. And it didn't. <laughs> and I'm just going to leave it there. And then when my husband sees later, I'll be like, what, what the hell happened? <laughs> so let's recap a Kenzie morning here on the show. <laughs> First, she runs late and falls down the stairs. <laughs> and then her phone follows her down the stairs. 
And then for some reason, she has an extended high Jeep that's taller than yeah. any Jeep ever built. She's driving a high rise. <laughs> Maybe it's her wheels. Maybe her, she got a monster truck. It just truck. looks like, like you, okay, listen, when you're in a car and your garage door, like, it's like, well, it's basically up. I guess when it's basically up, my Jeep still touches it. And huh. that's what we found out today on Mythbusters. <laughs> Sucks ass. She's pulling Gravedigger out of the garage. Oh. That, that's what I picture. <laughs> yeah. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Kenzie leaves her garage and destroys the door. Oh, it's like limping now. Well, I don't. I think he's gonna notice it. Is that what you said? You said he hope he doesn't notice it. Well, I'm not gonna say it was me. I will deny. I'm just gonna say, like, obviously. Okay, he's got a car though. Yeah. It couldn't hit the garage door. No, but something wasn't happening while it was on the ground. Like the thing came loose. <laughs> What was I that? Don't, I don't admit anything. I took out a landscaping light once, and he was like on my ass about it. He's like, what happened to this light? I'm like, I don't know, like a raccoon probably. This is not my <laughs> business. How the hell, why would I hit a light? And I absolutely hit that light, and I have an, I will never admit it to you him. You may not be aware, but Kenzie was in court yesterday for a speeding ticket. Yeah, I was. <laughs> we'll talk about that later in the show. She is here, and she didn't have to Listen, call us. it's been a rough few months for me, okay? Yeah. It's been a rough few months. Yeah. Have you thought about changing your driving habits at all? I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Sure you know. <laughs> That's concerning. <laughs> well, maybe she has CTE from falling down the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> <laughs> That's she, my problem. She's like Rocky. She's got all that CTE. Listen, I have a hard time. I, I'm not good at seeing an area and being like, well, I can fit or not fit. Mm. I really struggle with it. When I see a parking spot, I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. We'll just try. And, so that, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I thought the garage door was high enough today. Uh. Obviously, it wasn't. I all of a sudden pictured Kenzie talking to her husband like Rocky. Uh-huh. She has CTE from all the fights. <laughs> I uh, don't know what happened to the garage door, but it couldn't have been me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. He said a little bit like Yogi Bear. Did Yogi Bear see <laughs> Well, think, watch Rocky. He sounds a little bit like Yogi I Bear, know. but a lower register. Oh, there you go. I'd be curious if anybody ever got injured by their garage door to check in at 312-591-8300. The Brian and Kenzie Show. Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Uh, we have something, well, obviously incredible in 15 minutes. It is Green Day. We'll play two Green Day songs at 7 a.m. And when you hear that, you call up. When you hear the second song start, and that gets you in, call or 10, to the lounge on Monday, an exclusive, intimate setting with Green Day here at Q101. The best venue in town is the lounge. <laughs> and you're going to be right there with Green Day. Doesn't happen anywhere. It's the concert of the year. And then the next night at Wrigley Field, you'll be there with Green Day, the Smashing Pumpkins. My guy, Billy, who wants Woo. to try out with the Cubs with me. And uh, Rancid as well. So huge, 7 a.m. We're just 14 minutes away now. Make sure you put it in your phone so you do not forget. We just gave you the fact that made your brain go. Which was 15,000 garage door-related injuries happen every year in America. And Kenzie, you know, obviously talked very clearly about uh, some of the things that she's done with the garage door, but it hasn't hurt her, hurt your car or the garage door. Yeah. I'm just trying to, I'm fascinated by the injuries with the garage door. That's true. That's something that I have not experienced. Shockingly, I know. Well, 224 checked in and said, if it makes you feel any better, Kenzie, my wife did that with our brand new Model Y. That's a Ooh, Tesla, right? The Model Y. That's not good. Just about a week ago. Uh, if it uh, said it has a blind spot and it was conveniently right where the garage door stopped. Amen. Is that the worst? Um. Well, I mean, yeah, that's the worst. I'm, I'm not sure. Is the blind spot's right there where it stopped though, on the car? I guess. Mm. You don't have a Model Y or a garage, so I don't know. You can't be dissing her. I actually feel really good about not having a garage now these days. Yeah, so I don't well, want to be injured. Uh, to what nine texted it <laughs> and said, our family cat got squished by the garage door when I was 12. Thanks for bringing up the memories, Brian. Oh, no. Whoa. No, I, listen, cats, you can... They can jump off of a house and land on their feet. Yeah. You're telling me this cat didn't well, see the garage have door? super strength. They can't lift up the garage. Yeah, but if the door is coming slow, you think a cat, if anybody, would see that and get out of the way? Well, now they have the sensors at the bottom of garages. So, like, like two, like a foot off the ground, if it senses something, it, like, clicks and it goes back up. This must have been pre those sensors. Yeah, because even when I was a kid, our garage door had a sensor. Which, really? Yeah. Oh, maybe all, their all sensor the way, was broken. That'd the, be a tough one. All the way back then, <laughs> in the 1800s, it had a sensor. You guys had a crank wheel for your garage. Yeah. It was just crazy. Literally. There was donkeys that pulled the garage up. <laughs> That's wild. And the donkey knew even to stop if it saw a cat in the way. I mean, 
Whoa, cat. Everyone pause. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry about your cat. I'm sorry I brought up the PTSD. I don't know what to do about it except tell you about Are something. You and your bad news with your, with your fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, uh. So Are you these... calling me an Oompa Loompa? What's nope, happening? No, oh, no, no. Uh, I have a new segment idea. <laughs> I, I feel attacked. Right? You're looking right at me and playing, and I go, what's happening? Not true. I want to remind people, we have so much going on. I just mentioned the Green Day here in 13 minutes now at 7 a.m. But just to look forward to next week, uh, it's the best time of the year here at Q101 when we bring back the golden ticket. Oh, yeah. Q101's golden ticket is this magical ticket. Maybe you're a new listener to the show, and we appreciate you. Thank you. Maybe you've been going here for years, and you know what this is, and you know what to look forward to. So it's a magical ticket that gets you access to everything Q101 does for an entire year. Woo! I mean, you want to come to every performance in the lounge. Done. We're talking about the Green Day Lounge. Now, how about every concert in the Chicagoland area? You got it. Everything we do, Twisted Christmas, Riot Fest, all the things that we do, you will be a part of for free. Festivals, concerts, lounges, it's everything. It's an all-access pass. So make sure you're listening Monday morning at 6 a.m. I know it's Thursday, but just these are things I always say. I need. I do this all the time just to remind myself to go to the bathroom sometimes is to put it in my phone, put a reminder there. Go to the bathroom at 4 o'clock. So put in your phone right now, 6 a.m. Monday morning, and it will be every hour from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. So through Lauren's show, through Brian Phillips' show, giving away a pair of tickets to an upcoming show in Chicago. So you're a winner already every hour, like Pearl Jam, like Creed. Which like a sold out, sold out Creed show. Riot Creed. Fest, all three days. Yep. 21 Pilots, Imagine Dragons, Corn, Avril Lavigne's got a show coming up. I- I love Avril Lavigne. That was my <laughs> first concert without my parents. I'm so excited about this. Cage the Elephant, which is next week. So all these shows and more, you'll win every hour, and then you get qualified for the golden ticket, which takes care of you for a year. And you can listen. There's been several winners already. We've talked, and they, they definitely check in. Paige is one of them for hey, sure. Paige was our first golden ticket winner. She's the best. She still goes to everything, even though she doesn't have the golden ticket anymore. Chloe was our winner last year. She's been great. She still goes to everything, and I know she's cherishing her last month with the golden ticket because it's Riot Fest to Riot Fest. So her, riot, her her golden ticket kicked off last year at Riot Fest with Foo Fighters and The Cure. It'll end this year at Riot Fest with Fall Out Boy and The Offspring and Slayer and everybody else. Think wow. about that. Think about all all the you know money and resources Every you put to music. Every night of Twisted Christmas. Yeah. I mean, I, there's so much. Like you think of these long shows. Okay. Like I mean, a lot of people. You know, Riot Fest comes up, Lollapalooza comes up, Twisted Christmas comes up. And, you know, you have to pick your favorite night sometimes, right? Like, yeah. who do I want to see the most? Because when there's this many shows you want to go to, there's got to be sacrifices that are made. Not if you're the golden ticket winner. It doesn't matter. Nope. Go to every night. Go to every show. There's no picking and choosing. No sacrifices need to be made. It's unbelievable. It's a magical ticket, the golden ticket. All the info at Q101.com. But Monday morning, 6 a.m., That put that in your phone. Now, stay here for about nine more minutes. Green Day, two songs. We're going to play them. Two songs. 312-591-8300 is the phone number. And we're going to get you in that lounge. You stay here. Uh, in the meantime, it is Gil Curtis with your headlines of the day. This is not headline news. Today is National Pickleball Day. Also known as National White People Got Tired of Disc Golf Day. Journey is now canceling tour dates now that Neil Sean and Jonathan Kane are feuding again. I hate to say it, Journey fans, but it might be time to stop believing. Marilyn Manson released a new single. The cool thing about being a goth rocker at his age, he doesn't need much makeup to look dead. And the nominations for the MTV Music Video Awards were announced. Videos so great, the network doesn't actually air them. This is not Headline News. Brian and Kenzie in the morning, and Chicago's alternative all day. Q101.